Hello brothers and sisters, good morning. How are you doing today? You're welcome to Beloved City TV channel. And please, if you have not subscribed, kindly subscribe to this channel, like the video, and share the video to your contacts. And I pray that as you do so, may God bless you and increase you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen, amen, in Jesus' name. Also, like this morning, I just want to share some very important thing for us. Even as we keep staying firm and strong in Christ to the day of His coming, I pray that we shall not be left behind on that day in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray that you will not be left behind. I pray that I will not be left behind. I pray that God will give us the grace to be counted worthy, to escape the things that are about to happen on earth, and to be able to stand before the Son of Man at His coming in the name of of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. So I just want to share some things with us that, you know, like the Bible says in the book of uh, Matthew. Matthew. Hallelujah. In the book of Matthew chapter 24, let me start from verse 37. Verse 37. Verse 37. Hallelujah. Matthew 24 verse 37. It says, but as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, until the day that Noah entered into the ark and knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Then shall two be in the field, the one shall be taken and the other left. Two women shall be grinding at the meal. The one shall be taken and the harder left. Verse 42 says, Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doeth come. Hallelujah. So you can see in what it says, said one will be taken and the other will be left. This actually means and implies that there are some people that will be left behind to stay behind in the rapture. To stay behind in the tribulation, I mean. To stay behind in the great tribulation. Not every Christian will be taken. Not every Christian should be taken in the rapture. Some Christians should be left to stay in the great tribulation. Not because they are committing sin, not because they are, you know, they, God doesn't want them, but because God just wants them to help others. God just wants them to help others. So please, in case you find yourself in this situation, I will say, don't be offended. Don't feel betrayed because when it happens and some people discover that they were not taken, even though they've lived their life as a Christian, they've done everything they could as a Christian, they didn't join the world, they, you know, they, they gave themselves to Christ, but as a result of the fact that they didn't understand that there is one error in their life or the other, they couldn't make it. Because of that, they were left behind. Please, if you find yourself in that situation, if you find yourself in that shoe, please don't because of that depart from Christianity. Don't depart don't because of that part, don't because of that depart from Christ. There is still hope. I say there is still hope. There is still hope. Don't because of that depart from Christ and go to join the Antichrist. After the rapture had happened, some people will be left behind. They are left behind in order to help others to stand strong. They are left behind in order to help others to preach the gospel to others, like the Muslims, like the Buddhists. They will be worried and surprised of the thing that just happened. They will left behind to be able to preach the word of God, to move in the power of God's greatness and revival. So that people, many people can come and turn to Christ. So please, don't be offended. Don't feel betrayed when you find yourself left behind in the rapture, in the great tribulation. It is not the end of life. It is not the end of life. Anyone that joined themselves to the, to the Antichrist will find themselves to be blamed. And you know what? Everyone that take the marks are what? They are eternally doomed. So don't because of the seven years or the three and a half years that the enemy will use to run the system of the world now forsake Christ. 
for eternity. Please, don't do that. Rather, ask God to give you the grace to stand strong and firm. Ask God to give you the grace to stand strong and firm, to, go, to be able to go through the great tribulation and come out victorious. In the times of the early Christians, the apostles, they didn't have the opportunity for any form of rapture. Many of them were killed and they were slaughtered by white animals. Many of them were killed. They were slaughtered like animals. Many of them were thrown into, into, into this uh, symposium and they were fed with terrible, deadly animals. They died standing for Christ. They didn't deviate from the love of Christ. They didn't deviate because of the tribulation that, that faces them. When all these emperors, emperoneros and so and, and his colleagues were pursuing and, you know, persecuting Christians, killing Christians, they stood firm. They did it because of that turn against Christ. They didn't because of that turn against Christ. If the rapture happens, which it will happen quite soon, we don't know how soon it is, which it will definitely happen, and you find yourself left behind, know that you are left behind for a reason. To help others that are not Christians to come into the Christianity, to, call, to, to acknowledge the Lordship of Jesus Christ upon their life. And during those days, there will be angelic support. There will be angelic support from different quarters. All you need to do is to find yourself in the midst of true brethren that will come together to keep pursuing God in the spirit of His love. As such, there will be angelic support. There will be angelic support. Although some people will be caught by the Antichrist and they will be killed. They will be tortured and they will be killed. Why some will not be caught? Gather they will be alive. For God will keep them to see the coming of Christ in the clouds. You don't know which group you belong to. And as such, Please don't turn your back against Christ in case you find yourself not being raptured into heaven. Don't turn your back against Christ. Don't turn your back against Christ. There is hope. There will be angelic support. There will be grace for you to stand strong, to testify, and to be firm. There will be grace for you to do that. So please don't turn your back against Christ. Don't turn your back against Jesus Christ. Stand strong and stand firm. You know, some people will say, ah, since rapture has happened and everyone has gone to the old taking, what else? I can't continue. I can't continue to wait on Christ. Like, let me go and join the world. Let me go and enjoy my life. Please don't do that. Please don't do that. Don't turn your back against Christ. Some of you are left behind or will be left behind so that you can preach to others and win them into God's kingdom. In the book of uh, Daniel chapter Daniel, sorry, Daniel chapter 12, verse 10. Verse, let me start from verse 9. It says, And he said, Go thy way, Daniel, for the walls are closed up and sealed to the time of the hand. Many shall be purified and made white and tried. But the wicked, see, many shall be purified and tried and made white. You will probably be among them. And that is the reason why you are still on the head. But the wicked shall do wickedly and none of the wicked shall understand. But the wise shall understand. You have to be wise to understand these things that you are left behind for a reason. Verse 11 says, And from the time that the daily sacrifice shall be taken away and the abomination that maketh desolate set up, there shall be a thousand two hundred and ninety days. There will be a thousand two hundred and ninety days, which is like one three and a half years. And he said, Blessed is he that waits. Do you get that? Blessed is he that waits. Verse 12. Say, Blessed is he that waits and comes to the thousand three hundred and five and thirty days. That's one thousand three hundred and thirty five days. Like just like like you know, a month, just like a um, 1090 and 1335. That's like 45 days, 45 more days. You need to wait. Don't get deceived. 
Jesus says, if it were possible, even the elect would be deceived. But for the sake of the elect, those that have been elected to see the coming of Christ in the atmosphere, because of that, the days will be shortened. And they will come. And it will come. And they will be revived. They will be transformed in the twinkle of the eye. And those that were killed will also leave their grave and join Christ in the sky. And from there, we all move down to Jerusalem. And the Antichrist and all his minors and everybody that took the mark would be destroyed when Christ stepped upon the face of the earth. Please and please, don't be part of that destruction. Please and please, don't be part of that destruction. Wait on God. Tell yourself there is hope. If you find yourself left behind, tell yourself there is hope. There is hope. There is hope. There will be angelic support. There will be grace to stand and to be able to stand before the Antichrist and be victorious. I pray that the grace of God will help us to stand strong and firm in that day in the name of Jesus Christ. Even if we are being left behind to help others, I pray that we will not fall short of the expectation of God upon our life in the mind of Jesus Christ. Don't feel betrayed. Don't feel offended. Rather stand firm in God. And you will see how God will glorify himself in your life. And at the end of the day, you will see yourself gaining the heavenly kingdom with all the mansions, with all the crowns, with all the pleasures and enjoyments forevermore. I pray that the grace to stand to the end we shall receive in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I pray for you that whatsoever the enemy is using against you to accuse you, I pray that you will rise above them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. So I come your way again. I remain Brother Paul of Blessed to Watch Ministry. Please kindly endeavor to like this video and share it to your friends and neighbors. Tell them to stand strong even if they find themselves in the great tribulation because there is hope. So I come your way again. Do have a wonderful, glorious time in God's presence. Bye for now. I love you.